Hi there, everyone. Office 2024 is out now. And so the commercial preview has now ended. And I hope that most of you have already enjoyed the commercial preview of Office 2024 that was available for free till now. But what next? If you, let's say, have not tested the commercial preview of 2024, can we still try it? And the answer is yes. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can download and install Office 2024. And if you are interested in knowing what's new in Office 2024, then do check out the video that I recently have created where I have explained almost all new capabilities being added in this new version of Office 2024. The link you can find here in the description down below. Now let's talk about how you can download and install it and can try it for free. And obviously, as we know, Office is a paid software, so eventually you have to buy it. Now, let me quickly jump into my computer screen so that we can get started. And there we go. So here, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open my browser. And if let's say you do not find your browser, just press menu button and type EDGE as this browser is available by default. Now, the first thing here I'm going to do is I'm going to type Office deployment tool okay and let's click enter and now here we need to go to this site which is microsoft and then from here you can download this office deployment tool and not to worry guys again you can find the direct link that i have provided in the description of this video and now i'm gonna open it to run so let's click here on open and now i'm gonna say yes and then here you need to accept the terms and condition I need to click on continue. Now you can create a new folder anywhere you would like to have. For example, here I have created this office folder and in order to create new folder, just simply click on make new folder and this way you will able to create. Now I'm going to click OK. So what this office deployment tool will do is it will generate a setup.exe file for you. The next thing here, what we're going to do is we will be creating an XML file. So XML file, I would say, is a configuration which talk about what exactly this setup need to install. So let's see how we can create that configuration file. And here for that, I'm going to type office configuration tool. And now we can go to this link. And again, not to worry, guys, I'm going to provide you this link directly in the description of this video. So just follow this video and check the link that I have provided in the description. Now here, what we need to do is uh, we need to select this 64 and from office suit, uh, we would like to install office 2024 professional plus. So just select this one and then let's say you would like to have Visio, you can select it. You would like to have project, it's up to you, you can select it. Then um, let's say additional product you would like to select, I'm going to say no. Then in case of update channel, I'm going to keep it as it is. And then here you can further tweak or customize the products that you would like to have. Because I would say it is very important, you know, why we would like to install a software that is of no use for me. It will eventually make your system run slow. So let's choose only those software which I really going to work with. So I'm going to uncheck this access, then publisher, then OneDrive desktop, Outlook. And I believe Word, Excel, PowerPoint and OneNote I'm going to utilize. Now let me click here on next. And then from here we need to select our primary language. So I would say English. Then um, in case of additional language. So if you need to select additional language then you can select the language that you would like to install additionally. In my case I am okay with one language. Then um, similarly for proofing tool you can again select the language uh of home you want proofing tool so i'm gonna click on next and then here i'm gonna keep all these settings as it is let's again click next then um it is asking us whether you would like to uninstall the previous version so i'm gonna say yes you can do that since i, I don't have any so that's why i'm not thinking about it and then here it is about license and activation you can customize based on your requirement. So you can click on automatically accept license terms. And then here, this Office LT SC Professional Plus Volume License. So I'm gonna keep all these settings as it is, and then I will keep on clicking next until we reach to this finish. 
So let's click here on finish. And then what we can do here is uh, we can export this configuration. So let me click here on export. And then I'm going to say open XML format. Now here we need to accept terms and condition and then we need to click on export. Then here click on keep because this is just configuration.xml. Now let's have a look on it. So I'm going to open it in notepad. So here I can see the product ID is pro plus 2024 volume. And then these are the apps that would be excluded. The customization that we have created during creation of this configuration file. And now I'm going to close this and let's also copy this to desktop. And then here, I think office was a folder um, and inside office new folder was a folder where we have extracted this setup.exe from office deployment tool. Now I'm going to delete this existing uh, configuration file and let me actually rename it because it uh, seems like I already had this configuration.xml. So that is why I was seeing this uh, one. So now one thing you need to make sure that you keep easy name of this configuration.xml. You can rename it to 1.xml or 2.xml based on your requirement. But make sure that when we will be typing the command, we do not misspell it. Now, the next thing here I'm going to do is I'm going to go here on the bottom and I will type CMD and then I'm going to run it as administrator. Now after let's copy this path and then I'm going to paste it here. And then in command from I'm going to write CD, which is change directory. And I'm going to paste this path here by just pressing control and V. Now here, what we need to do is we need to type following command, which is setup forward slash configure configuration dot XML. And again, you can find this command in the description of this video. Now I'm going to hit enter and there we go. Here we can see the process of office installation has begun. Now all we need to do here is to wait and watch and this installation process speed is totally dependent on your internet speed. So if you have fast internet connection, you will see Microsoft Office will able to download file quickly and so will able to install after that. So let's see how much time will it take. And also do not worry about this Microsoft 365 written here because Microsoft generally promote their subscription based model. And we will see inside the app whether it is 2024 or 365. And there we go. We have successfully installed it. Now let me click here on close and this one as well. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on menu button. And here we can see that we have successfully installed the apps that we have selected. Now when we open this for the first time here, we can see this Microsoft splash screen, which talk about collecting some data and there we go. Now, if I go here in account, I can see that this is a Microsoft Office LTSC Professional Plus 2024 being installed. And obviously this will not have license unlike our commercial preview because now Microsoft have finally released 2024 full version, which you can explore it by yourself or also you can check out the video that we have created about what's new in 2024. And also if you would like to go with some free alternative, those links are also attached in the description of this video. And that's all guys from my side in this video. And I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then please do like and subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content related to office productivity. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then you take care and bye bye.